hi good morning good afternoon or good evening and welcome back to my channel um today is friday it's actually bank holidays and the weather is absolutely gorgeous today so i got all ready and i will go to i will go to coffee shop we'll work on a podcast and then do a little bit of uh planning for my soul trip i put makeup on today which is very unusual and also i tried to do a little brown eyeliner wing so that's that quite happy with the makeup i'm not gonna lie obviously it's nothing too crazy i'm not great in it but it is what it is so yeah i'll take you along with me So I just finished in Blank Street, I literally edited one podcast, which I'm very proud of, so that's really good. Now I'm walking to Boots as I have a few bits which I need to buy. So I just got my stuff from Boots, it's been very busy, in general London is really busy. Now I need to find another cafe, get a coffee, get another get some food finally as well. Hello, it's another day. It's actually a Sunday. So yesterday I didn't do much. I just went to my sister's. We had dinner together, which was nice, and she did my nails. So just nice white, kind of milky white, with a few, as you can see, can you see it? With a few flowers. So I made myself a coffee in my spring mug. I don't know about you, but I do have mugs for any occasion any season essentially so this is my spring one summer i don't have summer one because i broke mine uh then i have an autumn one which is like a pumpkin shape and then i have a christmas one right like a winter one and i have like two winter ones and then i have a uh, mugs only which are for coffee then i have mugs which are for tea well anyways that's not the that's not the reason why i sit down right with you so as I said, I think it was in my previous video that I felt like down and stuff. So what I did this week was kind of reflecting and I was like, why do I feel like this? Why I'm not feeling my best? And then I was, and then I literally started reflecting. And I think reflecting is quite important, important to do because even though obviously you are focused on future or you are focused on present you chasing the goals you chasing that i don't know promotions or that dream weight etc you still need to kind of reflect and see like where you've been before what have you achieved what have you done and not be as that harsh on yourself and i think that's what happening with me because i put all these new year's resolution on myself and I do achieving some I'm not achieving some and I just feel like sometimes I'm too harsh on myself and I beat myself down and then I feel down and I feel like all the progress I did it's it's not enough and I should just stop and I should not be doing it and that's not the point is it so what I kind of realized is when I look on myself you know I'm still kind of thinking about past like how I was productive how I've been going to gym sometimes twice a day five times to six times a week how I've been eating super healthy how I was doing fun stuff so I'm very often kind of compare myself what I did like five six years ago but in the same time it's like I was much younger I've been that time working still like a nanny so it was easy for me to go 
twice a day to gym, stay on top of my diet, um, do fun stuff because weekends I had off. Any holidays I was off, right? So I had lots of holidays and I can do whatever. I had that freedom and I had like no responsibilities, right? I had no bills, no worry about kind of savings, no worry about you know, keeping the job and obviously the life was much more easier and much more enjoyable and it was just, that's how it felt. I had the best time of my life. But when I look now, I'm 30, I'm in full-time job. Yes, this job is not extremely stressful, which I'm, I need to say, I'm very happy and I'm glad it's not because I've been in jobs when I did a couple of roles, when I've been stressed, when I cried almost every single day and it wasn't great for my mental health and I think that kind of when the whole uh, whole problem with like being depressed started. I know it had been kind of with the COVID as well, but you know, it just started. But now we are kind of back, in, back to normal and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not losing the weight. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But then if I compare my lifestyle before, I was so active. Like I was walking everywhere because I had time. I've been in the gym, you know, I've been counting my calories, etc. And now, like, I'm sitting all day, I'm working, or I'm a slave with, like, sitting all day and just staring in a computer. You're not going to be as motivated to do stuff. So, obviously, when I finish work, most of the time, I'm just really happy to go back home or when I'm working from home, to just, like, move to bed, read or watch a movie. Yes, I'm going to gym in the morning, but that means like I'm waking up at 4.30 in the morning and I'm knackered by 8 p.m., right? So I have no energy and no interest to go out. And I think it's fine. I think what, what I've realized this week is I need to accept that I'm in a different stage of my life. I'm not that 24, 25 year old anymore who had almost unlimited time to do her stuff and I have responsibilities I have proper work and I just need to figure out what the best routine that works for me that I can achieve my goals obviously I thought when I put my new year's resolution on a paper that they're all realistic and I think they are but I don't think I can achieve them in one year and I need to be more realistic and also I need to stop thinking about what was in the past and what it's going to be in the future because at the moment it's present and that's what's important and I feel like I'm not really enjoying the present I'm not really living the present if that makes sense so I think the important what I'm trying to say the important lessons from here is to just yes have your goals have your uh, targets whatever you call it but in the same time, really stay focused and concentrate on a present. Like do the stuff that you like to do. Like if you don't feel to go to gym because you want to read a book all day in a bed, then do it and don't feel guilty about it because on the end of the day, it's gonna do good for you. Or you just like had, I don't know, you planned like busy day ahead. Well, then you change your mind. So don't beat yourself up, just do a little bit from the day you planned and do something that again gonna fulfill you with joy and it's gonna fill you with happiness and I think that's where it should be and I think with the whole culture these days that you're just chasing after money and chasing after success and you have these like high standards that you need to reach like I don't think you need to do it like if that's not in your nature if, if that's not your personality if, not, if that's not your goal then don't get stressed about it like i realized i'm really not that kind of person that wants to chase that career i'm fine with what i'm doing obviously i would like to have more money so what that means i need to take more responsibilities to my role maybe i need to switch a job and get the role which has exactly the same what i have plus extras or i need to maybe take some courses to learn something which I can bring them to the table which gonna give me that pay raise but that's cool that's cool with me like I can do these small little bits to get like you know to get a bit more up 
but I don't want to be really managing a team. I don't really want to be facing clients and deal with that stress. Like I did that. I've been, I've been account manager. I've been salesperson and it's not for me. So I'm doing my admin side where I know I can deliver that I'm, I think I'm pretty good in there. I have my processes. I can like get stuff done fast, you know, whatever essentially my colleagues ask me, it's done. I have no problem to stay organized. And I think I should build on these strengths. So it's just about kind of appreciate what you have at the moment, reflect on what you did in the past, compare it, compare like your old self and your new self, kind of find out what is still the same, what's different, realize that. And then once you have this, uh, once you have, once you've done it, you see kind of where you are at the moment and then focus on the future. But still, don't focus too much on the future. Like, don't constantly chase and chase and then realize, well, for example, last year I didn't do anything really for myself or I haven't done anything fun or I've just been stressing because I was chasing this goal and this goal is still, I'm not closer to this goal. So I think it's more about being realistic and mainly just enjoying life because on the end of the day, we are here only once. It's gonna sound like cliche, like we're here only once and the time is precious because on the end of the day, you don't know how long you're gonna be here. Yeah, I don't know where I'm really going with this. I hope it kind of makes sense. It's just like, I think you do what you do. Don't stress yourself too much and try to be as happy as possible. Right. Right, to show you the mess. So this is my desk, which is kind of clean. I usually kind of keep it clean these days. I have my tulips, which is nice. I have my coffee. But then look at this. Look at that mess. So this dishes needs to get all clean, right? This needs to sort it. I already started with a bin bag. This needs to get organized. These are clean sheets, so I need to change my bed. And this is just mess. So we're going to organize. I mean, definitely need to hoover because this is disgusting. Plus I need to organize my shoes. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Okay, my room is clean, so this obviously is laundry. And I'm gonna get a new basket as well because these ones are much bigger now from Primark and also cost four pounds. This is the rubbish. Bins are full, so that's gonna be job for Tuesday most likely. There's my desk. Now I'm gonna make some guacamole with chips and change the bedding. You know, this is my uh, carpet now, then organized. All this organized inside. I cleared under the bed as well. I had so many boxes. So yeah, the cleaning took longer than I expected. I thought I'm gonna be done in like an hour, hour and a half, but then I was, you know, the sun is shining and I got very motivated. So I was like, you know, let me declutter everything. So I did that. Now is now it's 4 p.m. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm gonna make myself food. Then I'm gonna have a shower because I'm sweaty and disgusting. And then I will be editing the video. Hopefully you will see some differences and enjoy my new, um, how you call it, my new edit, I guess. And yeah, I guess that is it. So I'm just going to edit, then I'm going to read book. And that will be end of my perfect Sunday. Oh, also, I'm going to be changing my uploads. So instead of uploading every single Sunday, I think I'm going to do it every monday thank you so much for watching if you uh like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe and i see you on monday bye